Welcome back to this special program. We are focusing on the International Financial Services Center in Gift City, Gandhinagar. Let's go across to my colleague Yash Jain, who is joining me right now. Yash was at the inauguration in Gandhinagar on the 29th of July recently. He's been following the developments there pretty closely. Yash, tell us, what are some of the important pillars of the Gift City? Prime Minister Narendra Modi's visit to the Gift City was a big move in giving the Gift City the identity of being a gateway to the global financial capital. This identity of Gift City balances itself on two important pillars. The first one is the NSE IFSC SGX Connect. And the second one is the India International Bullion Exchange or more popularly called IIBX. Well, through NSE IFSC SGX Connect, order on nifty derivatives placed by members of SGX will be routed to, matched and settled at the NSE IFSC. Essentially, the road to Singapore will go through Gandhinagar. The NSE IFSC SGX Connect will cover popular products like Nifty 50, Nifty Bank, Nifty IT and Nifty Financial Services and the exchange is expected to deepen the derivative market at Gift IFSC. What's the big goal? The average daily volume in Nifty futures at SGX is approximately 1,9,000 contracts worth $3.65 billion. The goal is to transition these volumes from SGX to the NSE IFSC. Another important initiative was the launch of India International Bullion Exchange or IIBX. It's only the third exchange of its kind in the world. The purpose is to allow qualified jewelers to import gold directly using the exchange mechanism. Essentially, financialization of gold. The exchange will aid efficient price discovery and ensure standardization of quality uh, assurance and integrated sources of the yellow metal. What's the big goal here? It is to make India, which is the second largest consumer of gold, to be able to command the global gold prices. Prime Minister Modi also laid the foundation stone for the International Financial Services Centers Authority or IFSCA. It's the headquarter for the International Financial Services Regulator. That's not all that Give City has got. A new development bank has also set up its Indian regional office also, international banks like Deutsche Bank, JP Morgan Chase and MUFG Bank have set up their units in the Gift City. All in all, about 200 companies, domestic as well as international, are expected to set up their shops in the financial powerhouse called the Gift City. Uh, Yash, thanks very much uh, for that. So lots of interest there in the city, lots of companies making uh, Gift City their home. Now, another thing which Yash referred to is one of the important components of the Gift City at Gandhinagar is the IIBX, or the Inter India International Bullion Exchange, the first of its kind in India and only the third such exchange in the world. We caught up with the managing director and CEO, uh, Ashok Gautam, who said that this exchange will help bring about efficiencies of scale and better price discovery for gold. Listen in. Presently, we are working with uh, 9 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. Uh, but we have uh, uh, we are actively engaged with the market participants as well as with the regulator. Uh, so uh, uh, hopefully uh, we will increase it uh, to maybe 5.30 or so. We'll let you know once those approvals come. We are an alternative channel and we want to bring in the efficiencies of scale. We believe that uh, more and more suppliers will come in and we'll, there'll be a better price discovery for the gold and consumers, uh, the qualified jewelers and the end consumers will certainly uh, benefit uh, because of these economies of scale and they will get a, a better price. Price which uh, our uh, qualified jewelers or the buyers and sellers will be putting, uh, sellers will be putting or the buyers will be getting, uh, will be the price which will be inclusive of, of this premium. Uh, but we believe that uh, today, uh, because of the consignment model, which is largely prevalent in India, uh, there is a 30-day consignment uh, cost built in. Uh, and uh, these are scattered uh, players who are trying to uh, arrive at a lot size on which the gold can come in India. But we believe that the suppliers, when they have uh, exchange as a center point, and they can have access to large number or some of the biggest names in the industry as their buyers, uh, they will be able to pass on many of these benefits to the end clients by uh, giving a sharper price on the exchange. And as there will be multiple uh, sellers and multiple buyers, it will be a, a process of price discovery. And in a transparent manner, that price will be available for everyone to uh, uh, import or to trade. 
Well, TCS implemented the IT infrastructure required to run the trading and settlement at NSC, IFSC, SGX Connect. And JP Morgan brought gold in the walls of gift exchange for the first transaction at the India International Bullion Exchange. CNBC TV 18 spoke to heads of both companies. Listen in to their views. Lots of testing. Uh, you know, we have very strong redundancy built in for this platform. And uh, it's not, you have to plan for the fact that there could be an outage and how you will recover in a matter of minutes or less. And that needs a lot of testing. We are doing that. We also need to, uh, you know, take care of the performance between the production and the DR sites. So I think we are on top of that. Uh, it's, it's a matter of continuously improving on it because technology keeps improving. We need to keep pace and uh, we need to be able to recover quickly. You know, that's the way to be prepared. Now you have an exchange which becomes, uh, gives you a guaranteed settlement mechanism. So for international players to be able to trade with confidence without having to use banks and all the frictional costs that come with it, the efficiency and the liquidity of an exchange is what comes in. Uh, we've already brought gold into the uh, vaults here in SGX. Well, that brings us to a wrap on this special program, but we leave you with a promise that we will keep getting you all the updates on this emerging global financial hub, Gift City. Keep watching CNBC TV 18 for more news and updates.